Welcome to Thinkering 2. Um, I want to discuss here today um, the process of developing a single focus solution for an anamorphic lanthus. Uh, the best way of, of doing single focus solution in a DOI uh, solution, just like we are we are doing here, is just to search for a wide angle lanthus that could be modded in a way that it will fit on on top of the, your anamorphic combo. So this is this is the the science behind basically the the wide angle lanthus it's composed of two normally two set of glasses sometimes three sometimes four uh, that will depend on the well, the engineering behind it but one has a positive diopt and the other one is a negative one so the way they are built together uh, they cancel each other but what we are gonna do here is actually pick one of those um, wide angle adapters and we are going to disassemble it so that they become like this a hollow one a hollow tube and what we are going to do here and uh, this is just the beginning of this process my intention is to to show step by step how I engineer this so that it's something like that that works with a helicoid so it goes it, it stretches and then well compacts and so the theory behind it why we are doing that is because at, at the front of the of the element of the glass and this is the, the front portion is here as you can see I have cut it in, in half and we are going to use basically everything so there's probably minor waste from what we are gonna be doing here. So all the pieces pieces inside, we are gonna precisely or the best as we can cut them and then sand them. Uh, so that are gonna be very like uh, as precise as we can get. And we are gonna use all the glasses that are inside. Here in this, in this plastic, I have the glasses. Well, loves so not to mess around with the glasses I put them here in this plastic i just want to show what is inside this one that i have already disassembled but I, i'm going to show up up front and in the, the next video probably what is inside so this is this is a, a set on this particular one. The negative diopt part is composed of two glasses. So this one is the upper front one and it connects uh, very tightly to this uh, second one. So it's, this is the, 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 the front por portion of the assembly. And this one, this is a more fragile one. This is the negative portion. This is a very small glass. It's inside the, the, the sack. I'm, oh, I put my gloves, but I decided not to open the thing, but anyway. And there are sh some shims inside as well. We are probably gonna use everything but the shims. So yeah, I, I think I can remove this. We're not gonna use it right now. So yeah, inside this, there are some, well, it has been um, bored to very precise to fit those glasses. So that's why we are gonna use all the pieces inside. We're just gonna cut them very precisely and we are gonna put a 
Helicoid. I'm gonna put the link to the seller that where I bought this from from AliExpress. This Helicoid, it's very it's a very nice one. It's a M65 uh, 17 to 31. That's how small it gets when it's fully compact. This is very important for us. And the smaller configuration is when we achieve the infinite focus. So that's why it's very important when we look for a helicoid that we look for the number, the smaller one, that fits in, in the build that we are trying to achieve so that after all the modding, it still uh, it still can like somehow fold to the to the minimum position, which is basically the size which is it was uh, engineered engineer, engineer to be. Um, I bought this the, I I brought this other one as well here. So that just for uh, just to make the point, you don't want a bulky one like this. It's too big, it's too heavy. And okay, it, it, the benefit will be it will vignette less. But this one is already very good. It vignettes very, it, it, it almost doesn't vignette um, the, on the anamorphic lenses. Maybe a very, you, you lose a very, very small, um, uh, the sacrifice is very minor. Uh, and there is another thing. You, you, you don't find helicoids bigger than this one. At least I couldn't find. If anyone finds a bigger one, I would I, I, I will appreciate if you could share. But this is an M65. So I think it's the bigger uh, 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 it can get right now. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to, to go bigger because the portion that are gonna vignette is the, the is the well it's the here portion and you want the here element uh on the on, on your assembly to be as close as possible to the to the front of the of the anamorphic block so in this process this is the first version that i did i already did uh two other versions the one is just recording yours from here. Let's see how the, that uh, ends up, uh, that um, a video, just for some detail shots. Um, so I have evolved a bit, uh, and that's why I'm doing this video, because I think I, we are in the point right now that I can share um, well, with everyone um, the, the process that I went through and how uh, it finally come to be. I think for this, for this um, first introduction, this this is where we are gonna stop, and um, and we continue um, on the on the building side uh, uh, of the of this one. We're gonna continue disassembling this uh, the U portion here. Uh, just that you know, th th this this is a very nice one, and and I bought it very cheap on the internet, on eBay, some on some sites. It was um, I don't know um, twenty forty dollars something like that. It's a Fujinon X uh, zero point seventy five wide converter it's it's the WCV 65 it's an excellent lamp and it works very very nicely for this for this project um, okay see you guys <laughs>